Hello there, it's me Shanae again. Welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. So today I'm really excited to show you this awesome makeup look that I created today. So today's going to be a pretty chill video. I'm just going to do a makeup tutorial on the look I've created on my eyes and my face. I wanted to try out the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I've been dying to try this out and I just thought why not incorporate it in today's video. I wanted to do some really full on Instagram glam makeup and I'm so happy with how this has turned out I'm so happy with how the eyes have turned out so as I just said I really wanted to try this palette out get a feel for it so I thought why not do two different colors on my eyes so I've got like the yellow and orange over here and then I've got the kind of raspberry shade and brown on this eye so pretty much I use this side on this eye and then this side on this eye. But anyway, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline channel so you guys are updated every time we upload new Maybelline Makeup Loft videos. Comment down below, let us know what kind of videos you guys want to see. And also make sure you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is my Master Conceal Concealer and I'm going to use this as an eye base today. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lid and just blend it out with my beauty sponge. So now we're going to jump into the Lemonade Craze palette and I'm going to start off with one eye and then we'll work our way over to the other one. I'm going to start off with the orange shadow and just place this right in my crease and then I'm going to grab the yellow and just kind of blend that orange out with this color and I'll also go back in with a fluffier brush just to really blend those edges out. And to further blend out that edge, I'm going to dip into the color Sunnies and just run that over the yellow. So now moving over to the other eye, I'm going to go in with the brown shade and start working this into my crease. And applying the same steps that I used on the other eye, I'm now going to grab this beautiful raspberry shade and just help blend out that brown. I'm now going to take the color Berry Ice, which is a really, really light pink, and I'm just going to run this over the brow bone and the edge of that raspberry shade. This just really smokes it out really well. So this is the moment I realized I wanted to do a spotlight kind of smoky eye. So I ended up taking the raspberry and the brown shade and putting that on the outer and inner corner. And then I did the same with the other eye, just with orange and yellow. And now we're going to move on to the lid shades. I am taking a little bit of concealer and putting that on my lid just so I've got a really nice sticky base. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Strawberry Lemonade, which is a beautiful shimmery pink shade. It is so gorgeous. I ended up just packing that on my lid straight with my finger. And then for the other eye, I used the color Sugar Coated. I ended up brightening it up a little bit because it was a little bit darker and I wanted the eyes to kind of match. So I just ended up lightening it up to create more dimension. Now I'm going to go in with my master liner. I am going to tight line my eyes and also just fill in my waterline on the outer corners a little bit. I do also roughly put this on my lash line and then I go in with my studio gel liner and create a wing. I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of this on camera. I'm terrible at doing eyeliner on camera because I always go out of frame. So I did the best I could and the wing liner actually turned out really, really good. And to finish off the eyes, I am going to go in with mascara and put some really dramatic falsies on and then we're going to move on to the face. I'm going to take my pore minimizing primer just so I get a really nice flawless base. So I'm just going to blend that in to my nose and T-zone area. And for my foundation today, I'm just going to use my Dream Satin Liquid and this one's in the color 23 True Beige. And to conceal my under eye circles, I'm just going to use my Master Conceal Concealer again, and this one is in the shade Light. So 
So once I've smoothed all that concealer out, I'm going to go in with my Fit Me Loose Powder. This one's in the shade Fair Light and we're going hard with the baking today. So I'm going straight under my eyes and I'm also going on the sides of my nose. I'm going to do my smile lines as well and also on my forehead. So I'm going to look pretty crazy. So after letting that sit on the skin for a couple of minutes, I'm now going to just brush it away and reveal my nice smooth matte face. And then I'm going to go in with my Master Contour Palette and start kind of bronzing up my face and bringing shape back to it. After a lot of powder, it can definitely make your face look really, really flat. I'm also going to use this to just lightly contour my nose. And after sculpting out our face, we're going to bake a little bit more just to clean up those lines. It's not an Instagram makeup tutorial if you don't bake all over your face all the time. Now I'm going to take the blush from that palette and just pop this on my cheeks. So this bit is a sad moment for all of us. I ended up putting my thumb right into my Master Chrome highlighter. I was really upset about it and then I dropped it all over my lap. This one is in the shade Rose Gold. I was so excited to use it and then I don't know what happened. I just got too excited and put my thumb into it. So now I'm just going to wipe all that bake off my face and then we're going to move on to our lower lash line and basically I'm going to do exactly what I did to my eyelids. I'm going to use the matching colors so I'm going to go in with the orange and yellow on this side and just really smoke it out and then for the other side I'll be using the brown and the raspberry shade and finishing off with mascara. I also did highlight my inner corners with the matching colors for each side. So I used the yellowy one on the orangey side and then the pinky one on the other side. So I did already have some brow product on from earlier, but I did want to touch it up. I'm just using the Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. This one is in the color medium brown. And for my lips today, I decided to use my Superstay Matte Ink Lip in the color 15 Lover. I don't know why I chose this. I just chose it because it was calling out to me and it's such a beautiful shade. And then I decided I wanted a little bit of gloss and shine. So I also went in with the Vivid Hot Lacquer in the color Too Cute and it just topped it all off. It looked gorgeous. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.